Italian for the word please. Five letters starts with a P. Ah, of course. P, R. You've been asleep for a long time. I hope that means you're at peace now. I've gotten your stem cells away from Roxanne and given the bag to Stacy Morasco. Everything is just as you wanted it to be. So, uh, if Fish isn't who he seems to be, then, um, who is he? Are you still on that, ma'am? Yeah, I'm still on that. Let's just say he's not always honest, okay? Okay, so he lies. About what? You gotta work with me here, man. What does he lie about? How much money he makes, his age, or what? He has like 10 women on the side? <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's definitely not that. Stop playing me, brother. Okay, look, man. I, I don't I don't need any more trouble. Okay, I got enough of my own. And anything I knew about Oliver Fish was when we were undergrads. Okay, whatever he's into now, that's his own business. Not anymore, it isn't. <laughs> What's wrong? I am. I, I can't, I can't do this. I, I don't understand, why not? You called my daughter a tramp in front of all these people. Ernesto. I say what I think. Oh, really? What Langston and your son share goes a lot further than just sex. Unlike you, I've seen this relationship develop right from the very oh, beginning. Hey. Though, yes, two, yes. two young yes. people. Yeah, oh yeah. Share yeah. ideas and interests. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on. No, that's not fair. I've never played oh, this game before. Poor baby. <laughs> Just face it. I'm the master. Oh, do you always act like this when you win? Yeah. And not very attractive. <laughs> oh, come on, we'll play again. Hey, this time I'll wait, wait, wait. Do you hear anything? No. Neither do I. Which is really weird. My dad isn't screaming. Maybe you really got through to him. Maybe he's gonna leave us alone now. I gotta tell you, I thought he'd be up here by now. Like, kicking the door now. I've had enough of this. Mr. Rivera. What are you gonna do? I'll drag my boy out of here if I have to. Boy, Charlie isn't this and if he thinks he's staying in Landview, where he can sneak around with this... Uh -huh. This... Get out of my way. Well, look, you get yourself under control. That's my son up there. And you're going to have to go through us to get upstairs. And I guarantee that's not going to happen. So how about we just talk it over? Hmm? Man to man? To man. To man. Did I do something wrong? Too much garlic in my pasta? No, no. Okay. Well, then what happened? Look, it's uh, it's not you. It's me. Uh, oh, my God. Here we go. No, and that's not a line. Look, you are you're beautiful and fun, and I still jumped into the sack with Stacey Morasco. Fish, first. I'm over it. Okay, but I, I, didn't, I didn't tell you everything. Okay. The reason I treated you the way I did that night wasn't because I didn't like you enough. I, I was awful that night. I made you wait to dance with shh, me. Shh, just, please, just listen, okay? I, I acted the way I did because I like you so much. Are you saying you respect me too much to jump me on the first date? Well, yeah, yeah. That's really sweet. But what was happening between us tonight is so not that. Fish, it's okay. Anything else? No, I'm good. No, I, I meant about fish. Let me put it this way. If Layla was your friend, what would you say to her? Honestly, I'd warn any woman that I really cared about not to get involved with Oliver Fish.
So what now? We just wait till your dad comes up here? I, I don't know what we'd do next. When I blew up at him, I didn't exactly have long-range plans. It's the thing about blowing up and walking out. Yeah, you know, you gotta face the person again. And this time they're gonna be ready for you. Oh, man. You still need your dad to help you out with college, right? Yeah, my scholarship only covers tuition. I mean, even with student loans, I gotta stay at home or I'm not gonna make it. You gotta talk to him then. <sighs> yeah. But after tonight, your dad knows you mean business. He's got to respect you for that. Well, at least now I respect myself. So, I'm just supposed to stand here, smiling, making small talk, while my 18-year-old son is having sex? We just think you should cool off before you do anything. You know, maybe you should stop thinking so much about Marco and Langston all the time. Start thinking about Marco and you. Aurelia, for what it's worth, I counseled Langston and Marco to wait. However, they both decided together <laughs> that they'd waited long enough. It does happen that way, you know. I know. So why don't we just trust those two young people? Trust my son after the way he behaved tonight. But he's such a nice kid. Uh, when Marco and I are at work, if he is not bussing tables, then he is working so hard on his studies. Well, college is his chance to better himself, and he could lose that chance if he gets Langston in trouble. That is definitely not going to happen. Mrs. Rivera, I have four children and I have learned that you cannot protect them forever. But if you've done your job right, and looking at Marco, I suspect you have, they learn to protect themselves and to make very wise decisions. Oh, I don't think my husband will ever see it that way. <sighs> I know a few things about pushing your son away. For, for a long time, my kid wouldn't have anything to do with me. I'm not you. I'm not an alcoholic. No, you're a bully. Look, a kid Marco's age likes to be treated like a man. Look at all the things he's done right. Cut him some slack. Yeah, and take it from a guy who knows. Don't get so caught up in doing things your own way that you can't even hear what your son is saying. Excuse me, but Charlie is 100% right. Oh, and here's your chance to do that. I can't believe it. Aunt Stacy wouldn't give me her stem cells unless you dumped Dad. I had to make him believe it, too. That's why I couldn't tell you. And they're not even her stem cells? I had her retested. She's no match. This is tough to hear, isn't it? it it's just that Aunt Stacy's always been so great. She never treated me like a little kid. She's the one that told me. What? What did she tell you? I knew something was wrong, but you guys wouldn't tell me. So I went to Aunt Stacy, and she told me about Mom and Brody. Well, bet she did. I'm such a jerk. I was so mean to you, Mom. It's OK. No, it's not. I said such rotten stuff to you. Well, you were sick, and your Aunt Stacy was lying to you, and so was I. I'm so, so sorry, Mom. Oh, yeah, right.